and needed some coins to build that dream team you guys have always wanted, make sure to head on over to my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They have the cheapest, the quickest, and most reliable coins on the market right now. Head on over to Buy Madden Coins and use code Poodle at checkout for 20% off your order. Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Community. And today I'm going to go over the worst market crash in history, part two. I'm not going to lie, guys. Initially, when the first one happened, I was like, damn, like this is going to be the worst I'll ever get. Obviously, we have the end of the year market crash, but like during relevant times of Madden, that was one of the worst things I've ever seen. And then yesterday happened. I don't know if you guys were following yesterday, but I don't know if it was the New Year's bundles or what it was, but markets were murdered yesterday, like destroyed. I don't know what happened. I, I sadly wasn't home for most of it. I went out. I was like, all right, open my New Year's bundle. I was chilling. I went to go out, went out to eat. I was relaxing. And I've seen all these things on Twitter about the market being dead. I was like, what happened? I went on the Madden app. Destroyed. Pummeled. Like, to oblivion. Ob 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 I can't even say that word, but you get it. To oblivion. I couldn't believe what happened. Now, it has recovered a slight bit. Surprisingly, some things have recovered. Some haven't. But it was just kind of surprising to see what had taken place in the small amount of time from yesterday when I was on to what happened afterwards. Guys, I saw Aaron Donald for like 27k yesterday. If you want Aaron Donald, please go buy him. Like, budget teams have never been in a better state of Madden than they are right now. Like, now is the time to be a budget team owner. And if you have, if you have to make one, go ahead, feel free. Right, guys, before we get into the video, remember, if you're new to the channel, always subscribe and hit that noti bell, boys. Our goal for the end of the year, Madden, is 25,000. I know it's it, it seems like a big goal, but I think we can do it. I think we're on a great pace. As long as you guys, every time you watch, you hit that subscribe button, come join the family. Be pretty easy turn on that noti bell boys comment down below because the comment sections are well alive again so if you ever need any help go over to twitter comment down below either or and make sure to spam the like button boys the best feeling in the world is when i post a video and i see hundreds of likes piling in the first second so noti gang you guys are real strong so always make sure if you're popping out to noti gang always hit that like button it helps the video out tremendously the more you guys like the video the better my channel does so there you go now guys head over to the auction block and check out all the prices now you know we like to start right i'm sorry for all you for all you guys who like below the 88s but that's kind of where i feel like i have to start at this point because 88s are so cheap, like if I go any lower, I might be in negative price range. So you guys already know 88s are the indicator. They're the groundhog for the video. Now the 88s were 35k about last time. They are now 33k, and I just saw them before for 27k, so do not be fooled. These I have my I might have to actually even filter out these a little bit. There's probably so many of them. Do not be fooled by this. 35k now. I'm telling you, they were just 27k. The eight the groundhog was out today. Market's gonna be cheap. Now let's go over to the 90 overall range. I'm gonna start over there. The 88s, we never really looked through them. We just checked the prices real quick. So 90 over, guys. You can now get 90 overalls for 67,000 coins. Full legends for 75,000 coins. Now this is kind of where they were at at a certain point. I'm not gonna lie. These cards, these cards, yes, they were like at 50k. They did come back up a little bit, but I kind of want to recap. Like I don't know if you guys missed it yesterday. Things were crazy cheap. Like, you could Steve Young was like 55, 70k. I guess they were selling it. I don't know what happened. I, I mean, I, I did the New Year's bundle, right? And I'm gonna be honest with you guys. I thought the New Year's bundle was straight fire. I thought it was amazing. So maybe everyone else felt the same way about it. And that thing, and the, that, you know, those, those packs are popping. Those packs, those packs are popping for everyone. I really don't know. It's very possible, which is why that could have led to the downfall. The thing, by the way, guys, I apologize for my voice. I'm pretty sick right now. Not like I feel like crap, but my voice is just not all there. And I, I feel I'm going to lose it soon, so I'm trying to get these videos done as quickly as possible. Because if I do lose it, I won't be able to record for the rest of the day. So hopefully I lose it after these videos, then I'm fine for the day. So let's head on over to the 92 to 93s. This is where a lot of the crash was taking place yesterday. Like, lower prices were already shot, by the way. Lower prices were done for. Actually, I want to show you guys the Aaron Donald market real quick. I, I want to I make sure it wasn't, it wasn't just yesterday, or if that's like for real now. But Aaron Donald, Aaron Donald was done. Tom Brady, yeah. Where is he? Aaron Donald was 27k yesterday, so things are coming back up a little bit, guys. I'm not gonna lie though. Don't think that you missed it. I promise you, when playoff promo start, uh, starts and Team of the Year starts literally within the next week or so, these are going to absolutely get murdered. So don't worry, don't worry about that. Now there's chances that guys like Aaron Donald get like a Team of the Year card and stuff. So when that happens, they actually will go up. But you're gonna want to get these guys before Team of the Year. You want to get them for playoffs. So when the playoff promo drops, you're probably gonna want to pick up a Khalil Mack. You're probably gonna pick up an Aaron Donald. And probably a Von Miller too, because more than likely these guys will get Team of the Year cards, and when they do, their core leads should skyrocket to like 80k because people are going to want them. It's a little little investment tip right there, which I probably should make a video on. Actually, forget I said that. I'm making a video on that. It's a great idea. Now, going back into 1993s, heading over to Program and Legends. Legends is where I like to filter things out some of the time, but we're gonna look through a few, quite a few things. There are some full legends here, like Dallas Clark 120. Now, remember these guys were all below 100k yesterday, so I don't think I wouldn't recommend really buying. But 
wait a few more days the playoffs promo is going to be coming soon and i promise you the same effect will happen this is and it's also really early in the morning it's like nine in the morning so wait till the market starts heating up right after right around 10 30 people start waking up people are still recovering from new year's hangovers from two nights ago i'm telling you like yesterday was a slow morning for madden and i feel like it was probably because of that but for the most part, guys, like I said, things should be crashing again. We have playoff, team of the year, NFL honors, and Super Bowl promo all within the next 30 days. I'm pretty sure. Maybe like 35 to 40 days, if anything. But I'm pretty sure that's kind of what we're looking at right about now. I should have the series Redux market. I know a lot of Reduxes were coming out of those uh, New Year's packs. Guys, like, if you're running like a budget squad, Andrew Luck for 161,000 coins is kind of a steal. There's some great value options. Let's see what the Mutt 10 cards are at right now. Mud 10 cards appear to be the only cards that seem to be still rare enough because people know that these Mud 10 cards are all gotten upgraded. Michael Vick got his upgrade. Randy Moss got his upgrade. What's called Gronk got his upgrade. Pilot Milo still hasn't got his upgrade, so expect that pretty soon. But all the Mud 10 cards are getting upgrades, guys. So pretty much the Mud 10 cards will retain value. We should, I, I mean, at one point when they were like 220, we probably should have bought a, lot, bought a lot of them. But who would have knew that they would have upgraded all the Mud 10 cards so soon after? Promo ended like in November. And they all got upgrades within the, within the next month. Now, I mean, people who got them early on, like back in like October, they obviously were two, three months away from their inevitable next car. But some of them got them pretty soon. So, I mean, it's not horrible. I, I don't I don't have anything wrong with it. But Joe Thomas, my big guy, who might be getting an upgrade soon. I'd imagine because it does appear like they're on that trend of giving all my 10 cards upgrades. So, just a quick little tip in case that you want to get him. Don't wait till he comes out because then he's going to be way too much. Let's head over to the 94 to 95 overalls. Now, as we come into here... These zero chill cards actually went up, which is kind of weird. It's just a weird predicament for me. So the Ghost Madden present kind of went up a little bit. Now, I can't imagine why. So unless someone made like some crazy coin method yesterday going over this or some specific reason, the market is really high on them when they were just 175. Now, I have nothing wrong with that. They're still super cheap, don't get me wrong. But I, I thought they'd be a little cheaper. Now, the thing that confuses me is why. Now, what could, could be is that people are finally remembering that the kindling market will be changing in the next few days uh once the promo officially ends they will convert to training and for the most part 94 over 475k is probably the best training value in madden now i did give you guys this advice before i told you guys pretty much with every promo like this like last year during the christmas promo i made millions of coins by not selling my ed reads for 350k and waiting till we converted to a training value 95 overall and i owed 96 overall and i ended up selling it for like close to 500k so the best bag I told you guys, I told you guys, if you had zero chill or Ghost and Madden players, don't sell them. I said you could sell everything else, your top players, but low, low cards like these, they were, they were so crap. Like a Vic, whatever. If you want to sell, fine, because that's so much money and you, just, you wanted your coins. Now the lower cards, I recommended you just held on to. Like if you, if you already took the L on them and you lost like me, I had Mahomes, I lost a lot of money on him. So I was just holding on to him. Now he did go up for a small amount of time, so I didn't end up selling him. But they are coming back up because they do know that the power ups. Now, they didn't come up as much as last year. Last year was a crazy difference. Like, every was 350, and all 96 overalls were 500. This year's so different. Nine, the, the values are so different this year. Training is a lot cheaper than it was at that point last year. As well as 94 overalls already go for close to this price. Last year would have been like the 94s to 300k, and these would have came up, which would have been a great way to make a lot of coins. A lot harder this year with how cheap 94s were ready to begin with. Now, as far as series redux goes, we don't, we don't really have much for this uh, category yet but remember with the new series update coming probably pretty soon the last series update was the first week of december we'll probably get one around like mid january or maybe even end of january i haven't heard anything in a while but when we get that one uh, we'll have a lot of new redux cards from all these promos that have been coming out so that'll definitely be a factor pretty soon and that will affect the market as well now the nfo 100s the nfo 100s they crash and come right back up so the issue with nfo 100s is this they are still the best cards or up there for the best cards in the game so you have to remember that they when they crash it's quick hitter like other 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 positions they crash they crash for a while these crash at the moment you have to take advantage of these crashes when they happen so like let's say at 8 p.m something comes out they'll be here 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 and then by 10 10 10 at night or in the morning they're back up here because remember they'll crash because the market has to crash at that moment but once things start to level out people are like oh wait these are the best cards everyone will buy them out now see 92 overall let's say they crash They'll stay crashed because people aren't like, oh my god, 92s are cheap. Like, that'll make my team amazing. They're like, oh, 92s are cheap. Maybe I'll invest in a few. But 94s, they crash. People with coins like, oh my god, I could build an insane team for half the price right now. They buy them and they go right back to the normal price. Now, don't get me wrong, they're still a little devalued right now, but they're still going for 300 plus K, 400 plus K. Randy Moss, like, they still recovered a slight amount. Lawrence Tail in the 400K range, low 400K range. 
I mean, for the most part, they still recovered a little bit. They're definitely down. You can see that, like, that's how NFL 100s will be. They'll be here, they'll crash, they'll come back to here, and then crash, and then here. They'll, after, like, a two or three weeks, the crashes will eventually keep their value lower than they were initially. But after every crash, you're not expecting them to stay at that price. So yeah, they're quick hitters. You got to go. You got to make your coins on them as quickly as possible or pick them up as quickly as possible. That is why if you're not home for guys like uh, crashes, like NFL 100 stuff, you, by the time you get home in the next few hours, the next day, you probably won't be able to take advantage of it. And the NFL 100s will probably be coming to an end pretty soon. The playoffs team of the year and NFL honors are going to blow NFL 100 out of the water. So do not expect them to be the top cards much longer. But they did cover um, a lot of positions, so... It's going to take a while for Madden to replace every position with brand new players. So, team of the year is going to be the one that probably does that. Will they will they make everyone better? I'm not entirely sure because we do get some 94s and 95s. But, we will see as the promo drops. Guys, that is about it for the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe and hit that noti bell. I greatly appreciate it. Like I said, let's see if we can hit our goal. Comment down below if you have any questions. Say what's up. Say noti gang. As well as, make sure to smash the like button, guys. Like I said, best feeling in the world. When hundreds of likes compiling and as soon as the video starts. Helps the video out a lot. Thank you guys for watching. I'm out. See you in the next video. Peace.